Oh, I'm back back. See, I told y'all, Mr. Consistent, him is me, I'm him. But today I ain't gonna lie, we're just gonna get straight into it, no cap. I'm just gonna top it up with y'all again, no for me. It's lit. It's late later in the day. I'm about to pop out to the gym. Um feel, feel me, we just chilling, just vent. Ooh, feel me, but um this one called today. We're gonna talk about the playoffs. For me. So if you know you don't watch no basketball, no whatever, just see the match of this. For me. But um Yeah. So first I'm not gonna lie. We gonna look them up because I know some I know some of the seedings like who I know like I know like who are who all clinched and stuff. I know that. But the thing is one per the thing I don't know is like how the plans all that shit situated situated because me personally I I don't go bro. It should really be if you don't make the playoffs, you don't make the playoffs, bro. Like if whatever like I honestly forgot I forgot how it was before. But if you what was it one through seven, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, whatever in the comments. But was it one through seven? And if you don't make the playoffs, then you you're fucking ass. So this should be on to the next thing. So that's simple. Now, like also, but one thing I will say, I am a fan of basketball. So that one thing I will say I do like about the playing is that I just like watching it. So it's more basketball, so it's my bring enjoyment to me, so it doesn't matter. But then also to a certain extent it's just unnecessary i guess is maybe like a revenue thing too that um can we just for bread why not but um what else but yeah so we're just gonna look up the scene because i know i know the bucks are one we're gonna go do it the but i know the bucks is one Celtics is two sixers is three Cavs is four Knicks is five nets is six that's for the east and then for the west it's nuggets Grizzlies, Kings, Suns, Clippers, who, who else is, I don't know, I don't know who else is, oh, y'all can correct me, I think, how, how many teams did I just name, five, is it, I don't know, but we're just gonna look, we're just gonna go straight into it, for me, cause, you got me, bruv. And for free, I'm going to skip forward to all this. But, all right. Also, too, by the way, I'm when I'm recording this, is Monday. April the... Uh, the 10th. It is the 10th. Monday, April the 10th. So, I think... And they don't play today. They they probably play the next day or whenever you're watching this. They, they probably already played by the time I... I dropped this shit, so. So, playing tournament Tuesday. Miami at Miami at Atlanta. So, the uh, Lakers, Timberwolves, Chicago, Chicago and Toronto, OKC, Pelicans. See, at it just make it see it makes no sense. And then the winner of game three versus that loser. See, it, it doesn't make no sense. But if you, for the teams I just named, Miami, I, Miami's winning that bag. They, that's easy. Lakers, my the Lakers and Timberwolves. That's that's gonna be a good game. I don't wait. Is Woody Gobert? Is he what's the more call? Is he? Is he? Cause I know he got suspended. So is he suspended for this game or not? Nah? Because especially if he's not there, then definitely Lakers. Uh, what else? And then Wednesday, the Bulls and the Raptors. I don't know. That's going to be a toss-up, to be honest. Because the Raptors, they do have some like, their length. And they play good defense. But the Bulls, especially coming back from half, um, from what some will call also a weekend, their defense has been one of the best in the league. So, I don't know. That'd be Honestly, it depends. Low-key, I feel like that's ser- that, not serious. But that game... It might depend on Lamar because for me, because they might be like, because like I said, they have, they have good defenders over there. And so, but the playoffs for the first round, so it's Sixers, it's Sixers and the Nets. Honestly, I would say Sixers and seven, but don't sleep on the Nets because they're very like, for me, and then sometimes, if you ever watch the Sixers, 
like a lot of times they have don't be, they don't be playing defense they have no effort they don't be for me they don't be so don't and the nets are really good especially scoring the ball Mikel bridges he's not he's really nice and then joe harris has been coming over late so don't see but they got a nice squad but honestly i would say sixers sixers and seven and then whoever Boston, whoever Boston plays will win regardless. So it will be really them versus Philly in the second round. And then they'll probably beat them in six because that the Sixers cannot beat the Celtics. They just, I mean, unless they put me wrong this year, unless Harden and Harden, and Harden one of my favorite players, if not my favorite player in the NBA outside of Chris Paul. But if he, you know, he got to step up this playoffs. But what's the McCall call? Um, yeah, but they're losing to this. They're losing, and then I just, I honestly think it's gonna be the Bucks versus the Celtics again, rematch, and that can be a toss up. And but this year, it the Bucks do have home court advantage, so which they didn't have last year, so that plays a huge favor in their, a huge benefit in their favor. And then for the for the West, I know all I, I know one thing off the bat. I know it's the Clippers. And the um the Suns, I mean, that's gonna be a valid. And depending on when PG comes back, that can fucking no, I don't care. Still Suns to six, whatever Suns to six. And then, sorry, I'm looking at it right now. Suns and six. And then the Nuggets play whoever. Honest, I feel like. I wouldn't be surprised, for real, for real, if it's the Suns and the Grizzlies in the Western Conference Finals. If KD can stay healthy and all that, that the whole if the whole starting three, the whole starting five, four can really stay healthy for the Suns, then. But that's a big if. Anything you say, if anything, but that's a big if. If they can stay healthy, it's really just like who's stopping them. To be honest, but they do also got to defend. They lost a lot of key, their key defenders, though, so that does, you know. But because for the with the Nuggets, they, I don't especially especially as of, of recently too, they've been haven't been looking like themselves, even though they've been sending like few of their players out and stuff like that. They saw a few of their players a lot, well, most of their players out at the end of the game, like the end of the season. They still was lose like niggas lost to the Rockets, and you can say whatever Jokic was still clearly unhealthy and all that. But but once you play like once you lace them shoes on, with them Johns on, you playing no excuses for me. So that's how that's how it always was for me. So it's like, but that's but they have a good cast too. Like MPJ, Jamal Murray starting to come back. He's starting to look like himself. And KCP, Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown was a tough pickup for them. I'm not gonna lie. But um so I mean they have good pieces, but it's just I don't know, they just always seem like they just can't like overcome that. And then it's just crazy because that puts a lot on Jokic because he's a back to back MB MVP and potentially he, but I don't think he's gonna win this year. I, me personally, I'm voting Joel, but um making it if you get if you already get it three times and you haven't even sniffed the finals. Like you've been to the conference finals, but that was, how long, how long ago was that? So it's just like, you got it, some, there's, gonna, there's a mass, a massive pressure on him, on him, on your kids. And if you don't get it done, then like, what do you say about him? And then, but one, one team you cannot sleep on too in the West is just, is the uh, Kings. Kings, they can get up on, get up and down on you in a hurry. They're fast. They play up type up tempo because they're a very young team. So like you see, they're in Fox. Like they're in Fox, right? Like me, no cap. But um, what else was? But they're the thing is though, they don't really like on the defensive side. Like you know, I'll, you you can still score on them because if you ever watch some of their games or just look at the box score. They, a lot of a lot of their games are like more like one fifteen ish or like one ten ish around there. So for me, but you can't see on them. They're still a good team. But in all in all, for the West, it's just it's really just the West. 
I have a tough one because like I said for the East is the Bucks and Celtics again rematch, but for the um for the West, I would really say the Suns. Really, the Suns and the Grizzlies. That's that's what I'm going with. Okay, I mean, like I said, we should, should start tomorrow. Well, not the playoffs, but the play in. But it starts tomorrow. So we we're going to see. So we get to see who the Grizzlies play, who they will play. I actually, no, because I think they played a loser or whatever. See, this shit makes no sense, bro. Like I said, if you don't make it, you're, you're boss with that. You just didn't make it simple, bro. And try again next year. But, um, but yeah, just like, like what the Mavs did, bro. That's a whole different story. But, but yeah, but for me, all I know is go birds. It's facts, but for me, that's that's all I'm for today. Cause this video is already for me getting getting. But I appreciate y'all if you're still here and you're tuning in. No cap, but like, comment, subscribe for me. Tell a friend, tell a friend. I guess I'm talking to you, bro. Yes, bro. Cause I know you didn't do it last time. Cap. But anyway. For me, I appreciate y'all, no cap. And so, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, get at me in my socials. Link in the bio, feel me? And I'm gonna fuck with y'all in